Hello there. Today we're going to be looking at Duratar, the starting zone for orcs and trolls. Some players love it, and some players hate it. Duratar is seen as very much a mixed bag. I just want to quickly mention how thankful I am for all the support I've had so far. The channel growth has been absolutely amazing. I've gone from 8 to 400 subscribers in the space of a week, so I'm really grateful for that. Thanks very much. As always, I will be showing you the locations, the drops, and the drop chances. So let's dive right in and check it out. Geolord Mottel Geolord Mottel is a level 9 quill ball on the western road leading out of Duratar. You'll find him at one of these thorny camps just north of the road. He doesn't really drop much, he only has a slightly increased chance to drop greens. He doesn't really do much damage either. The good news is, there is a chest right next to him. And who knows, you might be luckier than I was this time round. It's also worth noting that Geolord Mottel actually has the ability to heal himself. So at low level, you do want to be careful, he can heal himself quite a large proportion of his health back. Warlord Kolkarnis Warlord Kolkarnis is a level 9 centaur that hangs about in Kolkar Crag. The area is very popular with new players, primarily because of its close proximity to Senjin Village, and one of the first quests you get when you come out of the starting area is to go and collect some maps in Kolkar Crag. So don't be surprised if this guy is already dead. However, he's pretty good, he has a slightly increased chance to drop greens, no special spells so he's easy to take down, and he has the added benefit of having a chest nearby. Watch Commander Zalafil. Next up we've got Watch Commander Zalafil, a level 9 rare inside of Tyrigard Keep. Fun fact, if you go here as Alliance, Watch Commander Zalafil will actually be friendly towards you. In fact, this is the same for all NPCs in Tyrigard Keep towards the Alliance. As for what he drops, he doesn't really drop too much, it's more of the same. He doesn't really have any special abilities, I haven't showcased them here, he does have a shield bash I believe, so if you are a spellcaster he can interrupt. Again he has an increased chance to drop greens, he's a pretty easy fight, and again you're probably going to find he's been killed as Tyrigar Keep is really really popular, and he's directly on the way up to a quest mob, so if he's not there I wouldn't stick around for him. Death Flayer So up next we've got Death Flayer, a level 11 scorpion, again on the western road leading out of Duratar. You'll find Death Flayer directly south of the bridge into the Barrens. So if you get to the bridge, turn left and keep walking, you'll see him roaming around there. He's kind of like black and orange looking, so he does look a little different from some of the scorpions there, so you should be able to pick him out quite easily. As for loot, well, Death Flayer drops pretty much the same as the other rares in Duratar. Nothing special, nothing uniquely named, he just has a slightly increased chance to drop greens. Also shown here is the debuff that Death Flayer will put on you, which is a, a fairly long poison that ticks for about 4 damage. I wouldn't really worry about this unless you're a cloth user. If you're a cloth user, then it's definitely something you need to consider. Maybe bring a health potion. Captain Flat Tusk. Up next we've got Captain Flat Tusk, our first rare elite in Duratar. As you'll see here, Captain Flat Tusk is literally a stone's throw away from where Death Flare is. He's an elite as well, so he's not as popular, and this area in particular is not really used for any specific quests. He's fairly easy to kill, I would say. I think for a new player you might be able to do it solo. So Captain Flat Tusk, like the other rares, has an increased chance to drop greens, but he also has a 5% chance to drop shoulders, ranging between level 16 to 19. If you're the sort of player like me that has to have shoulders at level 16, then I'd definitely recommend chancing your armor, killing Flat Tusk, and seeing what drops. Fell Weaver Scorn. The edgy sounding Fell Weaver Scorn hangs out in the edgy sounding School Rock in the northeast corner of Duratar. He's our last rare and also the strongest. He's a warlock and he has a Voidwalker pet, and you can find him by going right as you go into School Rock and then taking a left after the river. You'll find that Fellweaver Scorn hits really hard with his Shadow Bolt, and having the Voidwalker there basically makes it like you're fighting two creatures. I definitely do not think you would be able to do this solo, so I would definitely take a friend. Fellweaver Scorn not only has a chance to drop greens, but he also has a chance, a 5% chance, to drop 16 to 19 shoulders. A cool little handy tip here, 
If you jump down off the ledge right below Fellweaver Scorn, you'll find that there's also a battered chest. So even if you didn't get any greens or shoulders, rest assured you can still get a nice chest. And this is nice and well hidden as well, so not a lot of people take it. Thanks very much for watching, that about wraps up this episode. Overall, Duratar is a bit of a weird zone. I don't like the fact there's no unique items, but hey ho, you get a lot of greens out of it, or potentially a lot of greens out of it, so all is well in the world. As always, if you have any comments, please do leave them, and if you want to see more of these videos, then subscribe to the channel.